true. I know you're not true, babe. It is the Roger Fredberg Show. Little Freddie Fender, a little blast from the past. There, hello. I don't know. Maybe I should just go back and be a DJ somewhere, huh? Play good old songs from yesteryear. Forget all this conversation stuff, you know? Spoken word radio. That's what we used to call it. It used to call it talk radio. It was called spoken word radio. The good stuff, you know? So I uh, had a... Uh, I had an interview with Hillary Clinton. Here's part of it now. I I, I think you'll like it. Um, Mrs. Clinton, what do you plan on doing about the global caliphate that started under your watch as Secretary of State? Wow, that doesn't sound like a very good plan. Um, what, what will you do to protect America at the southern border with Mexico, Mrs. Clinton? I see. So um, if I were to ask you then, uh, what would uh, your plan be for saving businesses who are going to be radically harmed by uh, the ravages of the 2017 full-blown implementation of Obamacare. <laughs> well, I'll have to say, Mrs. Clinton, you're very consistent. Now, we do have a worry about you not being truthful in the, in the White House. We have a little clip from an interview, and maybe you could respond to this. Well, I have to tell you, I have tried in every way I know how, literally from my years as a young lawyer all the way through my time as Secretary of State to level with the American people. That I will never lie to you. You know, you're asking me to say, have I ever? I don't believe I ever have. I, I don't believe I ever have. I don't believe I ever will. I'm going to do the best I can to level with the American people. All right. So then uh, what do you say about the lies that you told the people? the family members of the lost people or victims of the uh, Benghazi attack. <laughs> Mrs. Clinton, that is not an appropriate response to my question. That is not an appropriate response to my question, Mrs. Clinton. What is wrong with you? So what about the fact that, you know, you um, lied about your emails? You said that there were no classified emails, Mrs. Clinton, no classified emails. And yet now we find out there are hundreds of classified and top secret emails. Don't you think that that was a lie? How do you respond to that? <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm going to have to hang up on Mrs. Clinton because I just don't think she's going to answer my questions. <laughs> well, it's, it's really not funny. It's, it's not. I don't know how, and I, you know, Hillary wins Nevada. Not that I wanted the little socialist Bernie Sanders to win, but you really do have to scratch your head on this one, don't you? Here's a woman who acknowledges and has been proven to be a filthy, no good, evil, lying SOB who actually lied in the faces directly to the people who lost loved ones of Benghazi. I don't know how many lies they've caught her in, but it's dozens. And... She just flatly refuses, flatly refuses to take responsibility for any of it. And I'm, 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 uh, I'm just angry about it. I'm angry that my fellow citizens and my fellow brothers and sisters out there, fellow Americans, could vote for this, this crazy person. <laughs> just, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked by it but that is what america is nowadays i suppose there you have it uh, we are what we are huh we are what we are anyway there's plenty more to talk about but i don't have time left here today to do it in so we'll do it next week or whatever i'm on um twitter radio roger at radio roger on twitter facebook under roger fredmer you can find me i got plenty to say a little dedication to uh hillary clinton on our way out have a great week, folks.
After all, he's just a man.